and bonjour boys and girls, my name is DT, I'm a paper designer and welcome back to my workshop. So, in a previous video, we built this guy. So as you can see, we made a stop motion animation using this guy. And for the animation, we needed Squirtle to actually go back into his shell. So we had to make a paper craft of just a shell alone. And while I was playing with this shell, I thought it would be really cool to turn this into one of the Koopa's shell from the Super Mario games. So that's what I did. Today, we are going to be making a Koopa shell. This is going to be uh, a turtle shell from the Super Mario universe, a Koopa shell. Okay, so this is what I got so far. And I think this shell is going to look even cooler than Squirtle's. Anyway, I just finished the brown part of the shell and I think this is looking really cool. Kind of reminds me of a Ninja Turtles shell. Okay, let's move on to the white rim of the shell. I really don't know why, but I really love doing turtle shells. I think the volumes and the shadows looks so freaking cool. I really love this shell, man. Every time I make a turtle shell, I'm just really happy. And I actually had to make a decision this morning because when I was doing the 3D modeling, I didn't know if I was supposed to put uh, those black sections into the paper sculpture or if I should just leave uh, a hole here. So leaving a hole would make the whole sculpture uh, much easier to close because you have access uh, on the inside so we can put your fingers to close the whole thing. But I felt like not putting those black holes would look really, really weird. So it's going to be a little bit harder to close, but I think it's going to look uh, a lot more cooler too. So we will see. But I guess if you guys want to leave the holes open, you just have to not glue those uh, black pieces. So I'm just gonna go one flap at a time. So once uh, you get to this point, I guess the easiest way to close this shell is to glue the left side first here and then move on to the right side here and then the left side and the right side and so on instead of you know gluing the whole left side first and then the right side after i think it's easier to move from uh, side to side what you guys can do is take your pinky like a hook like this put it inside like this and then use your other fingers here to apply pressure over here like this So now you are left with those six tabs and you are just going to take out all the tabs and then glue in the last piece. And I think we are done. So yeah, I'm really happy about the way this guy turned out. I think he looks really cool. I was also debating if I should be painting this guy in green or in red. And as you can see, I picked green because I think this one is a little bit more iconic than the red one. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and tell me in the comments what you'd like to me build next time. And the templates to build this guy are available on my website. You guys can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And until then, I will see you in the next workshop. Cool.